Jari also did not play in Pittsburgh's last game, an overtime win against Minnesota on Thursday in St. Paul. Faceoff was won by Sidney Crosby, the top line out for Pittsburgh. And three on two through the neutral zone. Come the Avs. Pass down low and a backhand by McKinnon was stopped and the rebound went wide. They get some injured players back healthy, particularly their captain, Gabriel Landeskog, still out after knee surgery. Latang wrists one right into the midsection of Darcy Kemper. And now numbers through the neutral zone for the Avs. Nachushkin from a tough angle off the blocker of Jari to the far wall. Comes free at the top of the slot. And flipped right on net by Nachushkin. The rebound there as well, smothered by Jari. They're getting to learn on the fly. McKinnon looked like he was going to tee one up. Waited too long. Here's Evan Rodriguez denied. Left pad save and a beauty by Kemper. Denying Evan Rodriguez. Four minutes to go in the period. Finally, it comes free. The Tang waiting for someone just on. It's Rust on the forehand. And a rebound shot on net from Raquel. Stopped by Kemper, too. As Barry Kapanen got it into the zone for Pittsburgh. Comes loose to him. He touches it back for the Tang. Another beautiful left pad saved by Kemper. Rantanen by himself. Deflected off Jari and went to the back glass. Nachushkin now Comper back for Nachushkin. Comper on the rebound and everything stopped by Jari. Now looking in from point blank range. That might have been the best sequence for Jari. Carter to the line from Malkin. Oh, trouble with the puck by Latang. And they got away with it. Dumoulin there to help. Now some skating room for Carter, and the shot right on, picked out by Kemper. Thank Dave Jackson for his hospitality here in his adopted hometown of Denver. Here's a chance for Lekkonen, and a save made by Jari. Both goaltenders have been terrific. Will they get this Jari in the playoffs? He was solid in the regular season last year, but then really struggled as they lost in the first round of the Islanders. Here's McKinnon. Dumps it off for a blast. Right on! And a rebound goal! Knocked in by Rantanen. After the initial stop was made by Jari on Burakovsky. The defense has to back up when McKinnon's got the puck. Now he knows he's got nowhere to go here, so he spins off and lays his back up as the avalanche are making a change. McKinnon spins off and leaves this for Burakovsky. Jari can't feel this, and inside of Mike Matheson is Miko Rantanen. Rantanen's six foot four and 215 pounds. He's inside, he's hard to move. Matheson thinks Jari's got it, it's loose. Midway through the hockey game, Rantanen is 35th from McKinnon and Burakovsky. Here's a takeaway, Crosby down low, stopped by Kemper. Dumoulin that went off the shoulder of Kemper and into the corner. Good work on the forecheck by Rust. It sets up Gensel, and he missed an open net. Took it to the backhand. The cage was wide open, and he couldn't put it home. Kemper's gone down into, now into a snow angel almost. And Rust working hard to try to get it out of the zone for Pittsburgh. Now Dumoulin with Gensel. His shot off the leg of... McCarr picked back up by Gensel. One-timer Latang might have been deflected. And a rebound goal by Sidney Crosby. Penguins on the board. It's one to one. It's Gensel low to high. And Crosby will get around McCarr. That's a shot Kemper would like to be able to hold. McCarr gets caught standing still. Crosby takes the one hopper and swats it by Darcy Kemper. His 26th of the year, and 35 minutes in, we're tied at one. Coming back from off-season wrist surgery. Goal number 512 of his Hall of Fame career. New hook, dumps it off, and a goal! It came out of the net so quickly there was some question, but it's a goal on a blast by Obey Kubel, and very quickly, 
The Avalanche retake the lead. Puck chipped up the boards by Sturman. Newhook's got a little bit of room. When he loses it, Abe Kubel is just coming up behind. This thing ends up right on the tee. This shot will hit the middle camera barrier right dead center in the net so it doesn't make any sound and Ray you could see on the replay a couple of the Penguins turned and looked at the officials if to say did that go in the net and I would imagine Ray he's one of those guys that when they get fully healthy get Landis Gog and Kadri and a couple of others back his spot could be in jeopardy great stop by Kemper on a backhand by Rust and I think if a player takes a penalty now, it'll probably be a desperation type of call. Here's a chance on the break. New hook denied, and the rebound smothered by Jari. The Chiefs can add both goals on the power play, both of them from about a foot and a half away. Here's another chance for Ranton and stopped at point blank range by Jari. Latang came over to help, and they managed to clear. The Chus can give him some room, splits the defense, goes down. The Chushkin's another guy you notice every time he's on the ice. Matheson had it off the glove. Now it comes free. Matheson from an angle, and he scores! Mike Matheson, his 10th of the year to tie it at two with 4.53 to go. So from a sharp angle, Matheson's just shooting for a rebound. Kemper's got to catch that. When he doesn't, Burakovsky's going to turn the puck over. Oh, it's a bad place to turn it over. And really quick look by Gensel as Matheson's just heading around the back of the net, back to his defense position, but good hands. In fact, Colorado has more goals from defensemen than any team in the league. And Matheson now his 10th. Here's Burakovsky. Cross ice. And a sliding block, a shot wide, rebound goal! Devon Taves took it off the back wall. And for the second time today, Colorado answers a Pittsburgh goal almost immediately. This time it's Devon Taves, 27 seconds. After Mike Matheson had tied it up, a shot hits the end boards and Taves is Poached down by the net. The puck bounces perfectly to him. No chance for Jari. And it's 3-2 as McKinnon's shot is about five feet wide. It hits the boards. Right at the top of the circle. Cosby won it. There's Malkin. The shot is blocked. And Colorado has its 28th home win of the year. Matching the franchise record.